Hello everyone, welcome once again to our channel Prince Promotion Destination This Side Prince. So today we are going to talk about another important concept in automation that is how to encrypt or decrypt your sensitive data when we are dealing with UI automation using Java. So for this purpose, I'll be using AES algorithm with ECB technique, right? So what is the use case? So sometimes when we deal with API automation or UI automation, we need to store the sensitive information and we cannot store that into the plain text because uh, then the security is compromised. So for that purpose, we need to encrypt it and during automation, we need to decrypt it, right? So this is what we are going to discuss, right? So what is this AES? AES is Advanced Encryption Standard. This is widely used uh, uh, algorithm for uh, encryption and decryption. So this is what we are going to use. And along with AES, I'm going to use ECB, though it is less secure as compared to other counterpart, right? So it has other counterpart as well, CBC and GCM. CBC is more secure than ECB and GCM is the most secure, right? But I'm going to use ECB, right? If you want, I can create a video on um, this CBC as well as GCM. But for current lecture, I'm going to use AES along with ECB, right? So what we are going to do, First of all, we will be generating one secret key using AES, that is algorithm. And once that key has been generated, we need to store it into some secure location. We don't need to store it into configuration, right? Then after using this secret key, we'll be encrypting the password, meaning we'll be converting the original password into the encrypted format, which would be in the form of byte array, right? Once uh, we will get the password in the form of byte array, so we'll be encoding it into the string so that we can store it. So for that purpose, we'll be using base 64. Once encryption is done, so this part is encryption. Now the next thing is we need to decrypt it, right? So as we have encoded it in the form of string, so first of all, we will be decoding it. Once decoding has been done, then we will be decrypting the password. And at last, we will verify that we are getting the same password. And in the later part of this particular lecture, we'll be using one sample application we'll try to encode one password and we'll try to decode the same meaning decrypt the same right so this is what we'll be covering as part of current lecture so without further delay let me jump on to practical demonstration right so this is i'm using one maven project where i'm using selenium version 4.19 and i'm using jdk 17. i have created one class this is one uh, like selenium code i have written which i'll be using later right to make this video quick right so now if i go by the flow first of all i'll be generating the secret key so let us write one method to generate the secret key so public and as we want to get the secret key so public static let us make static methods and let us give it name generate key right and now what we are going to use key generator right so key generator belong to javax.crypto which is part of JDK itself. So key generator dot get instance and here we need to provide that particular algorithm that is AES. Now we need, we'll be getting one exception. Let us add it to the method signature. As we are going to get the instance of key generator, so its return type would be key generator only. Right, key generator, right. Now the next thing is we need to provide the uh, like size of key right that we want to generate so for that purpose we will be using init and here we need to provide some uh like integer right that would be that can be 128 192 and 256 if we will provide anything other than that we will get error right now the next thing is we will be uh, generating the key so generate key right so if you will observe we are getting the secret key right let us capture it into the secret key because its return type is secret key only, right? So secret key, right? Now we have stored it into the secret key. Next thing is, as we want to store it into string, so first of all, we will be converting this into byte. So for that purpose, what I will be using, I will be uh, first of all converting this into, uh, I'll be encoding it, I mean, get encoded, right? So let us store it into byte array, because get bytes, let me show you. So encoded key, right? So if I'll show you, its return type is byte array, right? Now we have encoded, converted this into byte array. Next thing is using base64, we will convert this into string. So base64 dot 
get encoder because we are going to encode it encode to string encoded key we will be passing and let us return the same right so using this we will return it so now the first step is done we have generated the key next thing is we need to write the method for encryption right so public static and uh, sting because I, we are going to return the encrypted password and uh, encrypt data we can say and it will expect two things first would be the data and second would be the key so let us use generic name data because sensitive information could be a password or anything else as well string data and string key so whatever the secret key that we have generated above that we that we are going to create using our method will be passing the same right now the next thing is we are going to use cipher so cipher also belong to the same uh, java x dot crypto right again we are going to use get instance and it is expecting string transformation right so as we are going to use acb so for this purpose we need to provide this particular string so aes slash acb slash pk pk cs5 padding right so we don't need to understand much on this but this is what we need to use in case of ecb right and if you will observe we will get one exception right and its return type is going to be cipher only so cipher now as you know that we uh, encoded this secret key last time right so we encoded this secret key right at this line number 17 so first of all we will be decoding it right so base 64 dot get decoder dot decode right so i'll be passing this particular secret key right and we will get this secret key in the form of byte right so byte array i mean we can say decoded secret key right now we have got it now the next thing is we need to initialize the cipher right so cipher dot init so first of all we'll be passing encrypt mode because we are going to encrypt this time dot comma it is expecting the key as well right so we need to get the key in the form of key object so we'll be using secret key spec secret key spec new secret key spec which will be expecting one byte array so if i'll hover over here it would be expecting one byte array and another would be the algorithm so aes right so this is using this we will get the secret key and now we need to pass this particular secret key right so once this is done it is again showing one exception right now the next thing is we need to uh, run the final method so do final and uh, it would be expecting byte so our data is in the form of string so data dot get bytes right so using this we will uh, pass the data in the form of byte so this is our sensitive data right because of this also we have one exception and its return type would be if i lower up power over here its return type is byte right so so far we have so we can say this is uh, encrypted bytes right because we have uh, encrypted the password in the form of bytes right but as this won't be readable so we'll be using base 64 again so base 64 dot get encoder again dot encode to string so we'll be passing this particular encrypted bytes and we'll be returning the same right so using this we'll be encrypting the password and we'll be getting it into the main method right so we'll understand step by step right now the next thing is let us create uh, so if i go to the slides right so we have generated the key this is we have written the method for this we have encrypted it and we have encoded bytes to string right but we'll be using it later now the next thing is we need to write the decryption logic right so for that purpose we are again going to write string public static string and decrypt password and this will also expect uh, two things one would be encrypted password that we have encrypted and it would be expecting secret key as well right now what we are going to do we are going to use this particular line of code these two line of code actually because secret key is also encoded earlier so we are going to decode it right and uh, let us add these exceptions as well this time password is also encoded right so what we will do 
we will first decode this password right so byte decoded password and uh, let us use this line of code again and instead of this we will be passing password right encrypted password so this is now decoded in the form of byte array right now the next thing is we need to initialize or we need to get the secret key right so we'll be using this same line of code right and we'll be passing this particular thing so using this we will get the secret key right so we decoded it and now we have got it in the form of secret key again we are going to use this particular line of code cipher dot init cipher dot init but this time there would be one line of change that is instead of encrypt we'll be using decrypt method right and now let us add this exception as well right so using this we'll be able to decrypt it right now the next thing is we have decrypted this password right again we are going to use cipher dot do final right and this will be expecting this particular password decoded password right because it's uh, it is expecting byte array right so we have already decoded it right now the next thing is let us add the accept exception and its return type is going to be byte array so what we can say uh, decrypted uh, byte password right uh, decrypted bytes also we can say right and now we need to return it in the actual form so we'll be using string this time and we'll be passing this particular decrypted bytes right so this is how we can pass it now we have created all the methods right okay what we are going to do let us run it one, one by one so as out first of all let us generate the key right so because of it there will be one exception let us add it right and let us run it so you see we got this secret key okay and uh, now let us store it secret key for now i'm sharing it i'm saving it here but we should not share it into the code in the source code we should store it and we should use it during execution so i'm going to commit the first line right now the next thing is i am going to encrypt it so i'll be using encrypting data and let us say my password is string password and let us give it name password at the rate one two three right and what we are going to do we'll be passing two things first one is data and second is going to be uh, secret key so password this is first thing and second thing is secret key so because of this again we will get the exception so let us add it to the method signature now let us run this so we should get the encrypted password so this is going to be one activity right so let us we got this right now let us store it into string encrypted password right now it's time to verify so let us decrypt it right s out and i am going to comment the rest of the code right password and this because secret key is needed so i am going to use decrypt password will be passing encrypted password and secret key right and let us run it so we will see that we are able to retrieve the password right now the next thing is we are going to use this particular encryption decryption logic for one of the application right so let me do it for source demo right and here we have username password so this is the username and we are going to encrypt this first right so as uh, we have uh, secret key already generated so using this secret key so what i will simply do i will simply replace this password with the uh, source demo password and uh, then after i will encrypt it right once encryption is done right then after i will come to the decryption part right so let me run it so this is the encrypted password for source demo so let us store the same and let us comment the above section which is not required 
and now we are going to use the decryption logic right so just to show you that we are able to retrieve the exact method right secret underscore source should be retrieved okay so now we have retrieved everything right so what we are going to do let us move to the selenium code so this is the sample selenium code right so we are um, using selenium 4 as i've already told so i'm launching chrome driver i'm launching source demo and then i'm going to enter username and then i'm going to enter password so if you will observe the password is in the form of uh, like original password right so what i will do i will use it in the decrypted form right so as we have already encrypted so what we are going to do we are simply going to use decrypted password comma secret key and we will uncomment this particular line because this is the encrypted password right and now in this send case section instead of secret source i will be simply using decrypt password and this is how i will be retrieving the password right so what will happen so it will first launch source demo it will enter standard user and it will look for this encrypted password right because this is encrypted so in real time we'll be storing it into the configuration properties right for uh, demonstration purpose i'm storing it here here only right and we are passing secret key as well so let us see whether it is working fine or not so at last i have printed the title as well so let us see what will happen So it should log in actually so we see that it is able to log in right so we are able to decrypt the password right so if you will see title is swag labs right so this is going to be the title right so let me confirm the same ones so title right so title is swag labs so this is how we can encrypt and decrypt the password using aes with ecb so this is what I wanted to cover as part of current lecture and as I already mentioned that I am using AES with ECB which is a less secure technique but we can always use CBC and GCM depending on the need if you want just do let me know in the comments and I'll be creating a video on CBC as well as GCM so this is what I wanted to cover guys thank you for watching I would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again bye bye